Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 and today we are going to be reviewing the newest expansion pack or the create a sim and build by items at least and you guys can check out some gameplay on my Let's Play series which is going to be my high school years rags to riches challenge so keep an eye out for that but in today's video we're going to be focusing on create a sim and build by and I'm so excited. So excited. I watched the Sims, uh, lot, the official Sims live stream for this, but I haven't seen any other content. So, oh, I can't wait. Anyway, we got this little pop up here that says experience high school, iconic teen moments, shake things up and explore your style. It looks like there's so much to do. I'm just loving all these pictures. I need to do some builds for sure. But it says experience all of the ups and downs of high school, attend classes in person, get to know your teachers, hang out in the cafeteria and even decorate your locker. And then dance the night away at prom and celebrate your graduation ceremony with family and friends. Make lifelong friends, participate in after school activities, and experience the roller coaster of puberty. Ooh, that's, that's a little rough. So shake things up. High school is a time of self-discovery. Find the confidence to ask your crush out or the guts to skip class. Teens will explore their own likes and dislikes. Pranks and sneaking out after dark can have consequences. So be careful you don't get caught. And finally, make your bedroom your own. Plan outfits and become a simfluencer. Ooh, I want to do that. <laughs> Teens can earn money by selling outfits and hyping up looks they design on Trendy right from their bedrooms, which are now even more interactive than ever. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so exciting. So let's jump into Create a Sim and then we'll check out Build By. So I'm not entirely sure if these traits are new for this pack or new for base game. I did a little Google search. I didn't see anything. I'm not sure. It says the pack comes with new traits. So I'm assuming socially awkward. Um, there's party animal. And where was the other one? Overachiever. I think those are the three new ones I'm seeing right now. But again, I don't know if they came with base game. Oh, in high maintenance. Okay. In high maintenance. So anyway, sorry, there's, those are the ones I'm seeing. And I don't, like I said, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. I just haven't watched enough content or, or read enough articles to know what is going on. <laughs> but anyway, we have those new traits, which is really exciting. I'm loving the socially awkward one. I don't know if there's a new aspiration. Okay. After doing some investigating, I, this is much, much later after I filmed the whole review, but I realized I didn't have my sim set on teen. So I have this sim set as a teen and we have this teen selection for aspiration. So we can do the live fast, the admired icon, drama llama, or goal oriented. So those are new. I don't know if any of these will pop up now that, oops, any of these traits will pop up now, but no, it looks like they're the same. So I have solved the uh, the missing aspiration problem, but I didn't want to leave this out. So there you guys go. <laughs> they do exist. We should probably jump into all of the items. So I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a minute to filter some things here, but let's I guess start with the hats. We never start with hats, but we're gonna start with the hats. We have some that are um, unlockable. We have the jester and the prom royalty hat we have the graduation cap and that comes in a variety of colors and then we have this bucket hat which kind of i was gonna say it kind of almost looks crocheted but i don't know i think it's just the texture on it oh gosh it does look crocheted that's definitely like granny square vibes right there okay all right um but anyway let's get rid of the hat oh wait we probably should have unmarked feminine we want to keep all of the things in one section. So face, I know we got facial hair or we got facial hair, sorry, we got body hair in the base game update. Um, we've got the ability to grow hair now. I don't know where we find that, but it's in the body hair category and you can select the option to grow the body hair, which is actually very interesting. I can't wait to check that out in our gameplay, but let's see what hair we got. Wow, we got a lot of hair. Okay, let's get rid of feminine. We have this hair. I'm just keeping it in this blonde so we can kind of see all of the texture on it a little bit better. And oh, I'm loving this one. I love me a good braid. It looks like we're a 
glitching out there with the ears, unfortunately. Um, we have all of these braids. Love me a good braid. I love, I love the ponytail. It looks so good. And then we have this one. Nice. I like that updo. And then this is so cute. I'm definitely going to use this one. I don't know. I'm torn now. There's a couple that I want to use. Problem with this one is the headband and the color, but these seem to be like more neutral colors and nothing too crazy, just from what I can see to start here. And then we have this, look at the little braids. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. And this one has this little jeweled bit in there, a little hair tie decoration. We have this hairstyle, which gives me major teacher vibes. <laughs> Or regular, everybody can have that hair. It's fine, it doesn't have to be teacher hair. And then we have, this is adorable. This is so cute. I don't, I, again, I always fight with about this little piece, how it's always gonna change color, which I'm not a big fan of, but I feel like I miss out on using a lot of hairs just because of those kind of pieces. This though, oh my goodness, love it. That's just the one we saw before, but in, in lots of colors. Then we have this nice hairstyle. And we have two more. This one's really good. It kind of looks, does it look similar to the first one? No, the other one's more swooped up. Um, and then we have this one, which is a version of the first one we saw just in different colors, which is awesome. So let's, uh, well, that one's a little glitchy with the ears. So let's maybe go with this one for now um, in the lighter color. So we did hats. Let's check on accessories here. Filter through packs, high school, get rid of feminine. So we have these awesome, look at the little ice cream on there. That's awesome. And we have this heart necklace. Of course, there's no swatches for the necklace, but there's swatches for the glasses. We have this, this looks awesome. Look at all of the different this is like a gamer necklace if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and then we have this choker, so cute. Again, so many different swatches. And then we have this one, which reminds me of the candy, uh, what were those candies? Not candy hearts. They were like almost like sweet hearts, maybe? I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Oh, cool, that's nice. Glad we get one of those. Okay, um, we'll keep the glasses. We'll keep the glasses and we'll keep well, I don't want to keep a necklace on because I want to see the whole outfit reveal. Let's see if we got any new makeup or anything. And we did. So we have, oh, I got to take the glasses off. Let me just do that. This is gorgeous. I love the little gems there. And then of course we have it in a variety of color. And then we have this one. And of course we have the sliders so we can adjust it as necessary. And then we have this blush. This blush seems like very excessive. <laughs> Um, but let's go back. This one, I oh, just love it. It's so pretty. And of course it comes in a few different swatches. All of them do. So did I miss anything through here? I don't know if I did. Whoops. If I did, you know, it is what it is. So now let's go in to the clothes and we will do high school years and then all of them. So I'm guessing, I know they said they focused on teens, but I'm guessing like all of the clothes are available for everybody. But look at all of this. Look at all of these clothes. And there's even unlockables. I'm not sure how exactly. Okay, it says by purchasing the item at Thrifty's Thrift Store. Ooh. All right, so let's get started here. This is my jam. I feel like this is what I wore in high school a lot. It doesn't have color swatches? Really? Really? Neither does this one. I don't know if that's right, but maybe it is. This looks like a cheerleader type uniform. Maybe these are like thrifty ones. Okay, here's one we can change the color of. It's like a school uniform. Well, it has some that are more like school uniforms. Some are just kind of regular. And then we have this little hoodie with a jacket kind of thing. All right. And then we have this little, also kind of could be school uniform. Thing. And then we have a jacket. That's cool. I like that one right there. This actually reminds me completely random, but if you guys have watched Once Upon a Time, <laughs> it reminds me of Emma's original OG outfit in the show. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, I love the flowers on that one. Lots of these swatches will surprise you, which is really cool. Look at the, the did you see the ones with the tigers on them? Oh my goodness. 
Lots of cool stuff, lots of cool options. So we're just gonna try to go through this. I don't wanna speed through it too quickly, but I also know there's a lot to see in this. A lot, a lot, a lot. So this video might be a little lengthy, but this is really cool. This is, this is nice. I'm excited to finally have another expansion pack for sure. All right, this one kind of looks sheer, which is cool. And then we have this, oh, I see one I like coming up. Sorry, I'm not even focusing on the current one. <laughs> but we have this one I thought was really cool. This would probably go well with that little granny square hat. And then it looks like we have some kind of, this kind of looks like it could be cheerleading sports uniform. I could be wrong, I could be. Um, so many different, just so many different colors. I'm really surprised that that first one I looked at that I really liked didn't have color swatches. Ooh, look at that with that makeup looking fantastic. Okay. Keep in mind, we are looking through all clothes that's not filtered through feminine anymore. So this one looks a little crazy. <laughs> and this one's like another sweater vest type situation, but it's more like a dress maybe. Well, it's not a dress because it would be in the dress category, but Ooh, I really like this white one. There's some that I just really, really like, and they also throw me back to my high school days. <laughs> uh, but here we go, some more. This definitely, this one gives me like gymnastics vibes. Actually, if I, I thought it might've been one piece for some reason. Look at this tie-dye one. That one doesn't have swatches either. I'm finding it very weird when they don't have swatches. Neither does this one. And then this one. This one does. I don't know what's up with that, but you know, let's just keep going. We'll go with it. It seems like some of the ones I like the most don't have the swatch variations and I'm like, mm, why not? So anyway, here's another school uniform deal. Then we have like this cool jacket and then we have a crop version of like the sweater vest. And then we have a sheer jacket here with the little tank top underneath it. This one's really cute. I love that. Then just some like graphic tees with long sleeves underneath and some more like f almost formal or school uniform type deal. And then more graphic tees, more graphic tees. Oop. Unless this is like school mascot stuff. I don't know. <laughs> this one looks cool. It's like a chess club situation. I don't know what club this is. Oh, that's probably chess club too. Okay, it's all making sense. And this must be computer club. <laughs> And then we got like a little knit or crochet or whatever it may be. It kind of looks knit crop top. And then this, this is bold. This looks like a computer, like a motherboard or chip or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about computers. <laughs> uh, then we have this. This actually looks really cute. Then we got just a plain like sweater vest thing. Oh gosh, I lost my place. Cause all of the stuff is not highlighted and it's driving me crazy. This is cute. I'll definitely use this a lot. Uh, and then we have another sheer item and another like cheerleading. I'm calling it the cheerleading one. I don't know if it is for sure. Got another sheer look. This looks so adorable. I'm loving it. And then what's this one? Ooh, okay, okay. Got more of the crop top jacket vibes. I have been liking a lot of the crop tops that they designed for this one. This is really cute. Like, look at that one. And this one looks furry, which is super cool. <laughs> Ooh, there's a rainbow one. <laughs> and then there's this with, again, I don't know if, that's not sheer. That's just a tank top on top of it, I think. And we got another like hoodie t-shirt combo and another crop top jacket combo lots of that um, we got some prom stuff it looks like or just general formal stuff uh, we're getting to kind of the end here of the uh, shirts at least this is cute this looks like me well i it was a little longer but i would wear this a lot i wear this a lot currently i just wear a tank top and then put a jacket over it <laughs> And then we have this one. And then the unlockables, of course, they look like they come, some of them come with color swatches and some of them don't. I don't understand why some of them have color swatches, some of them don't, it doesn't make sense. Okay, um, well, we'll come back to the dresses, hopefully, remember. And let's see what kind of pants or bottoms we got with this. So let's take the feminine filter off. We've got some like cheerleading pants. I'm gonna kinda do this off to the side. 
No swatches on that one. Got some shorts. Um, we're just gonna kind of go through the, I'm just gonna keep going. I think those are more like football. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna stop guessing what all of these are. <laughs> we're just gonna go through and see what I like. I kind of want to turn some of these to the side, but other times I just want to see them from the front. Those are cool. I like, I like those swatches. This one looks like definitely a patchwork jean situation. Got some regular capris. We've got a skirt. I think I missed a row. <laughs> We've got some baggy pants. We've got some more sport pants. At least I think they're sport pants. We've got baggy shorts. Kind of looked a little ripped there. Let's see. And then we have a classic little skirt. I love that skirt. We've got a cheer skirt. We've got these pants are pretty cool. No swatches for those. We've got this disco, disco looking pant. And there's no swatches for that. None for that. None, oh, I thought that one didn't have any either. I was like, what? <laughs> but now we're back to the swatch ones. And again, like I said, I'm not going through all the swatches, but you can see on screen just how many there are for each one. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I feel like the only way to go through all of this is to do some kind of like speed, <laughs> speed go through, just like I do speed builds. Um, these look really cool but maybe I should have did that this time around, but it's too late. We're already halfway through. <laughs> well, we're not even halfway through. We haven't even done the build by stuff yet. This might be an hour long video. <laughs> Ooh, love those. Okay, sorry. Got some pants that look like they were bleached um, and they have an unbleached version. And then we have like a, it looks like a sequin skirt, but some of them don't look sequiny. We got like a corduroy look there and a jean look there for that skirt. We've got some sport pants, some regular pants, and some jeans. I'll be honest, like a lot of this isn't what I typically would put on my sim, but I, I like the challenge and there's some really cute stuff that I will definitely use in the future. So moving on to the dresses. Let's see, you gotta filter through high school years, get rid of feminine. So we have this look, <laughs> definitely like a winter look there. Um, and then we've got, okay, so I think we're on to like sports there. We have this cute little dress. I'm sure we're gonna see quite a few cute prom dresses. And then this, oh my gosh, I love that kitty cat. I don't know if I would ever put this on my sim, but I like it. <laughs> This is adorable. And then we've got the graduation. And then this is super cute. I love this. This is definitely like school uniform almost. Um, got like a football team uniform possibly. This jumper is so cool. Or romper. Jumper? Romper? I think I'm confusing them. That's really awesome. I love that a lot. And even this dress looks really cute. Look at this dark blue one and the black one. Oh, I love it. I love it. This one's even adorable. I'm really liking a lot of the dresses a lot more than some of the other pieces. Uh, but let's see what else we have. Some of this baggy stuff is just not my vibe personally, but I know it's a lot of people's vibes. I'm no fashionista. I am absolutely not. I do not claim to be because I'm pretty sure baggy things are in right now, but like it's just not my thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know much about fashion. <laughs> so, um, let's put this dress on her. Uh, let's go to accessories. Let's, uh, filter through the pack, obviously. And it looks like we have this, which comes in a few different varieties and we've got some socks. Um, let me get the shoes off here so we can see. So you can get the cherries. There's like leopard, there's geometric. These are really, really cool really cool. Uh, I guess I'm thinking that's it for this, this section. I think since I didn't do feminine filters, like I didn't do strictly feminine filters, I think everything will be the same. I'm assuming teens will have the same things as well. Um, let me just see. I am doubting that there's toddler stuff, but it doesn't hurt to look. The toddlers do get some of the hair, not all of the hair, unfortunately, but they do get a few. Actually, wait. Okay, they get, <laughs> had to sort through the, fil the filter there. But I'm glad they got quite a few of the hair. 
Um, I'm very happy they got this hair. I think that's super cute. And even these ones, this one. There, we got a lot of options here, which is good. Um, let's see if I don't like. I said I don't think they got anything, but that's just a guess. Okay. So I think I got everything. If I didn't and I missed something, I completely apologize. I'm doing the best I can. I'm pretty sure those are new. Just don't know if they were this pack or base game. And I thought there was an aspiration, but I couldn't find it. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Let's head on over to a lot so we could check out the build buy items. So here is a quick look at the new world, Copperdale. I'm so excited to check this world out in my, my Rags to Riches Let's Play series. If you guys want to check out the world, make sure you check out that series, but let's hop into a lot on here and start checking out the build buy items. Now, here we are in build buy. There are a few pre-made rooms, which we're just going to skip right over because we want to be surprised. <laughs> now I do want to, I really want to filter. I don't know if it's going to stay filtered because sometimes it just does not want to stay filtered. We're going to check for any plants or any terrain. I don't think there's any terrain. Um, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong spot. Where am I going? We'll check for doors and roofs and everything, but let's actually build a wall first. We actually might need two. I've from, from past experience, we usually need two walls. So let's check out the windows. I know we got new windows. So we've got the easy exit window. So this is really cool. Just you guys wait until the, the, um, the gameplay so you can see what happens with this window but it's really awesome and i love it very much whoops i do not know how to control this apparently and then we have this one which i don't want to read all of their titles <laughs> but these ones i don't know the difference between these two i'm guessing oh this one's for a curved window okay okay cool that's awesome so yeah we do have curved walls now i'm so excited Sorry, I'm like, oops, trying to adjust my camera. There we go. Okay, so we have this, which looks like a door. And then this one, these are really nice windows. I'm guessing this one's for curved. So the, the only difference between those are the fact that they're curved um, or for curved windows. Anyway, so we have this little thingamajig. It's a mild and tiled thingamajig. <laughs> But uh, lots of cool colors on that one. And then we have the Ivy Lattice thing. So some of these, I think, well, it looks like they just have a height difference. Okay, so this one needs higher walls. So let me uh, get the highest of walls. So this is what we're looking at. Um, this is small, medium, large, and extra large. It's a rebellious Ivy trellis. I'm pretty sure this is the one where they could sneak out of the house. I think I'm hoping and let's see what else we have stairs as well so let's check out these stairs these ones just classic school looking stairs and these ones are also very classic school looking stairs these ones are I guess more art deco and these ones are just high school stairs I think it's this that's throwing me off now see the tiling is what makes it high school stairs this is kind of just regular and it comes in a few different swatches and then this one is just multicolored. Uh, let's jump into fences here. I'm gonna have to draw some fences over this way. So we have this fence. Whoops, this fence, if we wanna call that a fence, and this fence, which is actually really nice. I like that a lot. They come in more neutral colors, if you will. Um, nothing too poppy. These ones actually, these ones come a little bit more poppy because I think they're mainly for the high school, right? And these ones are just more like art deco kind of, or well, this one's art deco obviously, but I don't know. These ones are just more general non-high school. <laughs> And then of course we have gates to go with them. So there's that one and then this one. Really nice, I like them. Doors, doors are important. So let's head back over to here and let's check out the doors. So let's place all of them before we take a look-see at them. Got a double door and we got an arch. So the arch is definitely made for the high school, right? So we've got a lot of space there. And then we got these cool double doors, which have kind of almost the same swatches as these ones. Then we have this door and this one. I'm not really sure. I guess 
is one different than the other? I mean, this one just says not permitted, so it seems like it's the faculty door, I guess. Only, faculty only. This one's a customized door for more like your teens and your children. And then this one's just a nice regular door that we got. And then we got this. I almost missed this. This is our nice big, nice large door. By the way, sorry if you hear my puppy in the background. She seems to like to bark. Well, she barks all the time, but you know, mostly when I'm filming. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, we have so much stuff. So let's put this over here. We've got these pieces. I don't really want to take up too much space with these, but these are kind of just decorations for if you're building the high school or whatever with the high school. <laughs> um, we do have no new roof tiles or anything, no uh, trim there, nothing there. We do have like this here, but I'm, I can't really put it on uh, right now. So do we want to look at, I guess, walls? So let's look at all of the walls. Oh my goodness. I'm going to paint it regular over here on these ones. So we have this like beautiful hexagon. What do they call this? Like honeycomb, beautiful honeycomb walls. I love them. I love the blue one too. Like, well, I love all of them, but especially the blue one. Even this black one's really cool. Um, and then we have this one, which is more of a tile. Definitely like a, a high school tile for the bathroom or the hallway or whatever. And then we've got, of course, I mean, can I say that we should be surprised when we see high school stuff? We're not. Like, this is a high school pack. So a lot of this stuff is going to remind you of schools that you've been in. And then we have some bricks, which of course, gotta have those bricks. These kind of seem nice. They're definitely a lot more clean cut of bricks, if that makes sense, compared to what we've seen. And then these are just another brick wall, but they're like skinnier, which is cool. And of course it comes in a lot of different colors. Then we've got this nice stone one. I like this one a lot. I feel like I'll use this a ton. And it comes in so many different colors. I'm just going to lay down a few swatches here. And then this one I saw and I was super excited for. It's the melting waves. I'm just going to paint the whole thing there. You can see how it adjusts and goes up and down. Um, it comes in a variety of colors here. Look at that. So cool. I already did that one. There's black and white. This green one. There's so many awesome ones. Definitely cool. And then let's move on to flooring. Have we really only got one floor? That's kind of crazy. So we got this floor here and it's actually one that you'll be able to puzzle piece together. So that probably wasn't the best move to do. So let's try this. So you can see there's a corner there. And then if we adjust this, I guess that's a different color, but you can do this, right? And make that kind of pattern or you can do something different. There's sides, so you can do that. So it's all going to puzzle piece together and it's going to look really cool. And I'm excited to work with that a little bit more. I'm going to say that's safe to assume that's everything here. So let's jump into what everybody has been looking forward to, which is the actual list of items, which is very long. So get a beverage, sit back and relax. And we're about to go through all of this. <laughs> all right. What shall we start with? I guess beds. So let's lay down all of the different beds here. Oh my goodness, so many beds. You know, I get I got bored of the selection of beds that we had. <laughs> so let's do um, both the singles and the doubles. I guess they pretty much look identical to one another in that way, which is great. I love having that option. So what I mean by that is this bed looks like this bed, this bed is this bed, this bed is this one, this one is this one. They all have that, they'll have that same color swatch. So let's just go through a few of these. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love this bed so much. I love that sun. And then this one's super cute. I need to make a build so badly. I just, that's all I wanna do right now is build. <laughs> but I also wanna play. It's its conflicting, let me tell you. Um, but let's see what else we have. Oh, the feathers. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love. Now, does this have the same, I don't even think this has the same swatches, does it? No, it does. Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't, I don't know. Uh, those look like avocados. Are those avocados? It kinda looks like them, I don't think it is though. And there's just so many, just so many beautiful ones. 
And then let's keep going down here. You can even have like the school bed and everything, like the school bed sheets. These are so pretty. All right, enough about beds. We have a new chair. This is like a beanbag chair almost. The chair of many colors. It does come in quite a few colors and it even has some patterns there too. And then we have this bench. Of course it comes in a variety of colors. I love me some colors. I'm so glad to see those. I'm gonna actually set down some of these chairs. There's quite a few, so we'll, we'll do a few at a time. This one's really cute, definitely very boho. And this stool's really nice. Oh, I will use this a lot. I like that one. I like a lot of them. Just again, trying not to take up too too much time. I just want to give you guys an overview of what we would get. Um, we could probably spend like quite a few hours here <laughs> if we wanted to. All right, so now we have some, I guess, more regular, non-decorative, just dining chairs, sitting chairs, school chairs kind of chairs. Oh my gosh, there's so many chairs. There's a stool. All right, let's cut it at that. So let's start with this chair. This is just like a classic school chair. It's You can see we can get beat up options and clean options. This one just reminds me almost of like a movie theater at first. <laughs> um, and then we have this chair, which also could be used in school for sure. It could be a nicer, nicer version, nicer school. They had That school had a little bit more money in the budget. And these patterns, I just love these patterns, like the leaves and the flowers and stuff. It's so pretty. This one's very elegant, definitely for prom or something. This one looks like it has fur, which is kind of crazy. And then this stool is super cute. I am loving it. Definitely will be really cute for like um, the, the bubble tea places, I think. And then we have this and this and this chair. And these are all kind of more like, to me, they're more like computer chairs, gaming chairs. Ooh, wait, that's cute. And these ones are definitely more comfier <laughs> gaming chairs. And I think if I, pre since I pre-ordered the pack and bought it before September, 2022 or some date, I don't remember the date exactly, apologies. I got one of these as a bonus. I don't know if it's here or if it's marked under something else, but I know there were like perks. Um, moving on to the couches, let's spread these out. Ooh, I love these. <gasps> and that's more like a bench and here's a table. Let's just do all of that. We're just doing this in groups today. <laughs> so this is a pretty cool couch. I love that it has a blanket spread over it. I think that just adds so much. That and the pillows, it just makes it look so good. And this one again has a blanket over it, which makes it look amazing and very well lived in. And then we have this more, I guess, elegant chair. And this one, this like bench, I don't know if it's a bench. Is it a bench? Ottoman, same. <laughs> and then we have a table and let's go ahead down here. We have lots more tables. That one's definitely more of a prom table, like a stool type table, dining table. We've got lots of tables. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> so this one and this one definitely are more for like prom, I would say, if I were to uh, categorize them. Obviously you could use any of this stuff for any situation, but I'm just, you know, off the top of my head, like, oh, yep, that one's for prom for sure. But anyway, lots of cool different tables. And then we have some end tables, which these were smaller, like the Dream Home Decorator, was it Dream Home Decorator? Shoot, I can't remember, but they had the small end tables and I love them. I don't know if these are technically end tables. They're probably just like, side, like, no, that one's a nightstand. It needs to be smaller. <laughs> anyway, can't sit too much on that one. And then we have these. Got seats and chairs and stools and ottomans and tables and all of the fun stuff. I like a lot of it. This is cool because it has, it has a glass top. That's amazing. Um, oh goodness, this is the desk. I missed this guy, sorry, my bad. But we have the desk for the, the school, which is awesome. You can again get the more beat up ones that are written on or the clean ones. And then this one comes in a few different varieties. Varieties, swatches, same difference. And then we have the principal's desk. Oh no. Is it not the principal's desk? It's somebody's desk. <laughs> and here's a regular desk. Um, let's go back to this desk. I thought this was the principal's desk from what I can remember from the live stream. Maybe I'm wrong. 
but it is kind of the only desk that looks to me like a principal's desk. And this one's cool. This definitely looks more like a lived in teenager's desk. I'm glad we've got a lot of desks. I mean, it's very important for the uh, pack theme. <laughs> So here's another version of like the, the lived in desk, if you will. This one has stickers. Where did that one go that had like the croissant sticker? I think that's a croissant. So, yep, that's cool. And then this one, I just brings, me, brings back memories because I used to put stickers on my stuff because we would get a lot of thrifted items and there'd be like dents or cracks or nicks or something that I'd be trying to cover up. So I customize it with my stickers. Ooh, okay, so we have some things for the walls, finally. Here are some, like, shelving boxes. And then I guess these also connect there. And then, oh my goodness, we've got lots of goodies here. This one might be more for the ground. But I think, can we, we can connect these. And of course they come in different colors. I wish this actually had a lot more colors, but at least it has black and white. I'll be able to use that a lot, but they all match. It looks like for the most part. Oh no, I'm losing my spot. Oh no. And then we have this cabinet. So these are all snapping together, which is amazing. I don't know where this one is. Oh, this is more of a bottom. Look at that. Look at that cool little thing I just made. It looks amazing. Like I need to you can put a TV on that and call it a day. We have a little art cart or something. Maybe it's a pop cart, pop cart pop cart and it has lots of different swatches and then of course we've got a rack plant rack a regular rack whatever <laughs> uh, we got so many different colors and I'm trying to click on this one there we go that one has more shelves on it I think and then we've got some dressers slash shelves slash whatever um, how many of these do we have? Quite a few, actually. Goodness. It's a nice corner one, though. I really, oh, and we got a trophy shelf. So let's see. Just going through, oh, nope, wrong thing. We're going through the swatches just very quickly here. I'm seeing so many things that I can decorate with, and I'm pretty excited to do some builds. Let me know what kind of builds you'd like to see. I'm right away thinking, you know, I can do an entire build, a house build just for just using these items and uh, base game probably. So just those two, I think I make quite a nice place. Look at all of the stuff we have yet to go. This is kind of insane. I feel like we need to uh, speed things along here because this video is way past nearing an hour at this point. So we have some just random items like the career day table, the thrift counter, um, we're gonna do sinks. We have the porta potty, which isn't gonna sit well anywhere. So the porta potty is much like the other, not the porta potty. Goodness, sorry, the toilet stall, which works much like the other toilet stall. And of course, we have the sink. Uh, where did we leave off here? Okay, we have a whiteboard. We have a chess table, a microphone, um, a fountain of some sort. We got a football. And then we've got a cheer mat. So we've got a regular and a large version of the cheer mat. I'm guessing that's just large, yeah. And then we've got an all-star golden cheer mat that we get um, in the cheerleading activity. We've got the thrift tea. We've got this stand for making speeches. We've got a jamming tablet. That's cool. Uh, we've got a photo booth. I'm not going to put some of these on the lot. Well, oh, maybe I should squeeze them on. I've got a photo booth. I've got another photo booth. And we got some festival stands. Yeah, I just don't really want to put these on the lot. They're going to take up a lot of space. Another festival stand. Here we go. Some plants. This is my jam right here. Lots of good, well, two good plants. I wish we had more plants, but this is cool. I like this planter and this planter is okay too. Not my favorite, but I definitely like this one here. And then we have a neon light there, which I'm guessing changes. Yeah, depending on the color swatch. So this one's a lightning bolt, which is sick. Um, we have some wall decor here. Where shall we go? Let's go over here. Hopefully we have enough space on the wall. And I'll look at the ice creams. Oh my gosh, the CDs. This is throwing me back. 
got like a mural of some sort. Let's put it there. Hopefully all of this fits. It might not. It's fine if it doesn't. I'm just going to show you all of this stuff. And of course, I'm guessing the posters will change. Some of them, you know, things are always changing with these art, the wall arts and the posters and everything. Look at that. That's so cool. Um, we've got this curtain there. Got like diplomas or awards. Cats? It's like an angel and a devil cat. We've got mirrors. All right, here we go. We've got this mirror. We've got this mirror. I can't, I'm gonna have to make some wall space up here. Should have, should have accounted for more wall space. We can get ones with stickers on them and everything, which is super cool. We got this one, which also can have stickers on it. We've got some blinds or some shades. We got more curtains. Oh gosh, I need, I need a wall. <laughs> I could go on the back here. I'm going to have to. So we can do all of these. They come in a few different heights. And look at these fuzzy, fuzzy, they're not fuzzy. What do I want to say? Like frilly, frilly looking ones. Oh, I love those. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are one of my favorites. Okay. And then we have this one. Sorry, I had to overlap it there. <laughs> But uh, just kind of quickly going through some of these, just lots of different colors, lots of fun colors at that too. I'm so excited for these. Okay, back to out here. We do have some lock trophies. Um, we've got a thrift tea monkey, like a bubble tea guy. We got a high school thing. We've got this guy. Who is this mascot? He's a womp womp. <laughs> and we've got the founder of Copperdale right there. We've got makeup essentials cool probably should look at those little brushes and everything we've got I'm, I'm gonna start unloading all of this clutter we got the craft cubby we've got study stacks we've got craft collection nice so that's just that with more craft stuff we've got the megaphone where should we put the megaphone there is fine we've got makeup magic i need another table we could just put it here makeup magic and oh my gosh there's so much stuff <laughs> apologies that this video is so long okay we've got more books we've got uh, i'm just gonna start putting this stuff down here got statue hobby stuff just lots of clutter items cl literally a dirty pile of clothes which probably couldn't get any better i love that we have that now because we all know we all have that pile of dirty clothes this is cool too i love that oh and this rug please oh my gosh i love that first color swatch and you can get one with the candies on it oh my gosh and then we have all of these let's see if i can get all of these laid out here this one's more of a high school floor thing and then these oh my gosh wait where was it oh <gasps> Might be my favorite thing. <laughs> oh, this cat. I love these. Okay, and we got a, another diploma. I'm just not gonna put that on the wall. We're running out of wall space. I don't even think I could squeeze it up here. We got like this pom-pom looking thing. Uh, these are high school diplomas and valedictorian, valedictorian diplomas. What's this? Promposal sign. <laughs> got all this stuff um butter toast clock i'm literally trying to just find any kind of space uh we got that guy again we've got this little stand-up poster it's the event banner Ooh, lockers yes lockers i love it i actually want to see what colors we've got we got quite a few different colors i think we could have got more colors there though not to be greedy, but <laughs> um, the high school photo op. We got the graduation photo op. Oh, we got a lot of photo ops here. We've got the chess festival, computer festival, the football festival, the cheerleading festival, the event entrance banner. There's so much stuff. If I put it all down, it would not fit on this lot. Then we have the clothing racks, which I think we'll use at the thrift shop. And I think that's how we style our own items. We got the double lockers. We've got the balloon arch. We've got the triple lockers. We've got <laughs> four lockers. We've got behind the counter necessities, uh, miscellaneous menagerie. 
Just like some good stuff for the, the thrift store. What is this? It's a labyrinth awning. I'm not sure. I guess we have to put it up against a wall, but I can't quite get it to go up against a wall. Oh goodness, here we go. So we got some lamps. We've got this lamp, this lamp, this lamp, this lamp. Oh, and then we have the canopy of lights. So oh, it's not going to work, is it? Because I don't have a... Let me put... I got to put move objects on just because got to be able to see these in all of their glory. So we have these and they come in the longer and the shorter, obviously three different sizes. We have these lights. These are beautiful. And then we have the like longer ones. We have this one, this nice general like school one. We have this beautiful one. We have so many good ones, that one and this lighting strip. And then we got these. Oh my goodness. I think this is one of the ones items I got for buying this ahead of time too. Okay, so we've got computers now. <laughs> Gosh. So this one has dual monitors, which I'm here for. And this one has one of those large monitors, which I wouldn't mind having one day. And then we have a golden laptop and a golden computer for when you unlock those. And we have a wireless speaker. Classic. Then we have these which are locked. We have the event speakers, the um, PA speaker, cafeteria. We've got this basket, which is so cute. This bin, which of course we need that. And this one, got some vending machines. We've got a bookshelf. Let's check out the bookshelf. Lots of different cool colors on that one. We've got this bookshelf, this bookshelf, and this bookshelf. I don't know if I like this one. I guess this one definitely gives me more library vibes. So we'll probably use it for something like that. But really cool. Oh, we're at the end of the list. Are we really? No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> so this is elegant duds for cheap. I don't know where... Is there a clothing rack? Wait, wait, wait. I know where it is. <gasps> oh, sh shut up. I could put them in here. That's cool. This is what I was looking for though. This rack here. I can't put it on the rack. Ah, there we go. So we could put these literal hanging clothes on these clothes racks. Like what? Can I put them on here? There we go. Look at that. What? What? All right. So we're getting down to it. We have some dressers here, which I kind of thought we already went through the dressers category. There's just so much. Uh, and let's get this one too. So let's go through all of these. Oh my gosh, I love that one. And then this one, got this one. There's so many beautiful options. So many good ones. This one even you can get stickers on. Is this a mirror, I guess, attached to it? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we have the Rebellious Ivy back here. These are ones we already looked up. I guess we didn't look at this vo voting box. Um, and then there's a golden leaf chessboard. So there's a lot of unlockables. I know I didn't go through all of the swatches on all of them and I apologize, but you can see right here as I'm showing you now, pretty much, pretty much everything has its own swatch. I mean, these kind of thing. Well, this definitely doesn't, but even this does. But look at all the stuff. This isn't even all of it. I didn't end up putting all of it down. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of exciting. Well, it's definitely exciting. It's kind of overwhelming, but I'm really excited to jump into this game, um, the gameplay and actually start playing. I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, I apologize. But let me know what you are looking forward to most out of this pack. I think I'm just excited for building with some of these items. I just like this rug. As small as it is, as weird of an item as, as it is for me to like right now, that might be my favorite item. But I love a lot of these beds and couches and ugh, I cannot wait. But anyway, I kept you here long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.